first, I'm going to make a chocolate ganache terrine. What we have is we have cream, uh, vanilla beans, chocolates, and butter. And so we're going to heat the cream. Take two vanilla pods. We're going to sp <clears throat> split them with a small knife right down the center. Do you have any preference with vanilla Tahitian or vanilla beans? There's a, there's a lot of chefs that like a blend. Um, okay. the, the, the bourbon vanilla beans are, are really nice. Yes. They're, they're nice and floral, so mm -hmm. uh, and relatively inexpensive. Mm -hmm. they, they can go from one spectrum to the other, really. So Now, in a relatively small bowl, I'm going to put 500 grams of chocolates. And this is uh, a combination of, or, or one? This is, this is actually all 70%. All 70%. The, the guanaja. Okay. Uh, I use it dark, so you have a little bit more uh, depth to it. So I'm up to a simmer. <clears throat> Generally, I would take it off the stove now and let it sit for like a complete hour, So, which is what I did earlier. Just pour it right over the chocolates. Mm -hmm. And little by little, it'll come in, come all together. You can start to add the butter. What I have is a, a collapsible terrine mold here, which I'm going to set it in. Uh, and I lined it with uh, acetate, which you can just spray the inside with a... Uh, uh, like yeah, a, a, a vegetable it, it, spray or yes, something? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Pam vegetable spray vegetable or something oil, like this. Yeah. So any type of pan coating. Mm -hmm. If you don't have pan coating, any type of uh, soft butter. Mm -hmm. You can just coat the, the outside so this will stick. Mm -hmm. So from here we just pipe it right into the train mold. We'll just do a little tap to level it out and put it in the fridge for a couple hours. <clears throat> See, it has three, three parts. Now the next two, mm -hmm. we'll just... Oh, it all comes apart. Come apart. The bottom is actually going to be the top. So it'll be super smooth. So mm -hmm. just roll it over on its bottom. Peel off the last piece. Okay. I'm gonna place it right onto our rack. We have water and sugar. It's not quite a simple syrup because we don't want it super sweet. We still want the bitterness from the chocolates. It's just about to a simmer. We can add the cocoa now, I'm whisking while we add it. This could be a base for any chocolate sauce. Uh, you could add some 70% some chocolates, uh, depending on how thick you want it or, or whatever. But right now, I'm going to add the, the creme fraiche. So that's one part of the glissage. The next is just the ganache, which we have the chocolates and the cream, which the cream we'll just pour over, make an emulsion. And then we'll do equal parts chocolate sauce and ganache, and that'll be the glaze. Somebody have a question? No? So you can see this is a really thick ganache. Yes. No extra butter needed, and then we're going to just equal, then this recipe actually equals out to this. So it's kind of made it that way, so it's kind of a no-brainer as well. I'm not stirring heavily or whisking heavily, just kind of stirring it just to make an emulsion. So <laughs> the finished tempered glissage is here, which I just had to warm slightly. Now for the terrain, like I have it on the rack and with something to catch the chalk on underneath. And generally I, I like to have this be refrigerated and this be around 40, so this will set. Uh, if this is too hot, it'll melt the terrain or it'll, you know, or it'll just run right off and it won't do anything. So. If you have something like this, or like what I had it in before, just a cup is perfectly fine. A uh, quart pitcher, you can just pour right over. So I go right down one side, slowly. It's 
minutes in advance, and you <coughs> you can just kind of just touch it with a blowtorch, give it a nice little shine. So this generally we can put in the refrigerator for about five minutes, and then I'll move it again so where the chocolate will set. So then just for like five minutes. And then I'll use the same spatula as I had, and I'll just remove it and put it on a serving tray. I'll season it with a little bit of salt. And then we can put it out for guests, let it temper, and people can just you know, dig in for themselves. <laughs>